Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Valhalla. My name is Weasel, and we are going to work after we'd read everything. Thursday, December 15th. Yes, I'm, I'm curious what's going to happen in three days. Apparently, Alice is going to do something. Anyway, good evening. I, I don't know how to say that. Good evening. Good evening. Weird. Oh, hi there. Alma. Oh, oh hey. Oh, hey, Alma. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours. But I guess it's just the same to our thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Jillian. Marcello. Wait, wait, what's happening? I stumbled across her on my way to... Uh, way in and asked if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put on the helmet on again, did she? Nah, she went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna give her a sneery voice or so. Alright, uh, that goes away. Showtime goes away. And we're going to select... Where is it? I go from here... What was it? Your love is a drug. Right. Ready. Nice. Now we can listen to it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub, on, rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Wait, what? 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 What just happened there? Oh, I can. You can scroll. If you use your scroll wheel, you scroll through the text. That's nice. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. J -j -j um, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Mickey girl came here yesterday before the concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like feeling more, actually. The stoic look, though, right? Yup, those. Ah, seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if you don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? Wait, a frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. <laughs> Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You... Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <sighs> sure. All right, a bad touch, not a problem. Mm. Yeah, but now, um, yeah, I bought the song and... She tells me here in the menu what she wants. In the other one, she got distracted and you had to remember. Not that that was a big problem, but it makes a difference. All right, Bronson Extract, Poot Elder Dildo, Do Flare Energite, and all the Camatrine. Okay. On the rocks in mixed. Done these. Here. Uh, who gives these strings their silly names? Usually the ones who register it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was caught in my caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action role play? Live action role playing. So what's wrong with that? Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did you role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and uh, it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stay with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. 
Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sort of disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night? Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfumes with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to their breathe as they pet your head, dozing off knowing that they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventricular... Ventriloquy. <laughs> That's a tricky word, but I can do it. Ventriloquism. When I was 12, drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh, ventriloquism. Weird. A weird drink. Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. A weird drink. Promo drinks that fit the bill easily. Okay. Promo drinks. Um, drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianist Union, no relations to the Hadron Cannon. The Thermometer was hot in the creation of this drink. Burning. Mercury Blast. I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna mix something up myself for fun. Yeah, then again, I kinda want my... Wait, a fedora. Huh. Anyway, uh, classy drinks, promo drinks. Bloom light. Let's do the bloom light. Sounds good. It's so unnecessarily brown. Ah, uh, four of that. One of that. Where's the flanergite? It's over there. On the rocks. And mixed. Fail. Damn it. Okay. Four. One. Two. Three. Wait, what did it wrong? Oh, aged and on the rocks. I totally missed that. Doesn't matter. And well, it was definitely not flawless service because now I have to reset, but what can you do? Okay. Uh, all aged on the rocks and mixed. Nailed it. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me you're part of the reason you left this Damon is because he was too deep into routine. <sighs> Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as, you hacker, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? And that's the sound of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant a speech, they prepare just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that called the hacked civil sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remembered it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring, judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating, but no one but himself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of a usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything. An individual, a group, or an AI. There's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. The kind of story always catches the attentions of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risk and or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into the spa and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Ellis Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? 
Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometimes for too long. Oh, that... Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way, I... You can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories at night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. <laughs> Man, you act too nonchalantly. It's no fun. Relax a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked God is at 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like I said, a big Brantini. Finally, that's the alm I know. All right. Brantini, where is it? There you go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, the mixing is kind of monotone. Then again, all mixed and aged. Um, well, easy enough. Brantini. Here you go. Jill, do you advocate that bullshit about size not mattering? Because this better be some concentrated shit to justify its teeny size. <laughs> All right, I just wanted a big one. You know, I was wondering... Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consult consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your clients, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, that was that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equal small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... <sighs> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up with a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and forget to ask. So, many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave noon. See ya. Take care. Oh, who's that? Hello, sugar. Ow. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Donovan. Oh. <laughs> Like my bub used to say, never touch the ass of a one with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard to fuck and that's all my abdomen felt. Abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flooded on the fields at my summer house. Thank you, a bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience, I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. He usually says. Well, beer. Three days and he already has the usual drink. Well, I guess, yeah. Um, b -b 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 beer. No problem. I should make it big. Just to make sure uh, he's a happy customer. The other one I didn't make big. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All mixed. And done. Wait, fail? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go with the standard if he doesn't want a big one, or I must have copied stuff over wrong. Entirely possible. There you go. The usual. Glad to see that being offended doesn't affect your service. I'm not offended, just irked. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. 
Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. What? Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Mm, the signature on that glass over there. Uh, yeah? That big titted Lilith was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, it has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. <laughs> hey, kid. Do you think Lilum have nipples? Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of porners where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the single Lilum chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits of an Lilum girl look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Uh, any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Oh, sorry, that's that's still reading. I sometimes get all mixed up. Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I've read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses, or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What about them? They send a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay, bleeding Jane. Oh, interesting. Okay. Three powder delta. What's that? Spicy classic silvering. Well, I guess, uh, makes sense. And, fr oh, damn it, he wanted to Flannergyde. Got it covered. Uh, three Flannergyde. All blended. Gotcha. And... Come on. There you go. Here! <laughs> it's not him again. Simple enough for you, I see. So I've heard this Dana Zane's bar, is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after the incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some... bears? Six years ago, a cash-trapped denizen entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember it too drunk. Maybe she had a prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggested that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. <laughs> but that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dane, thank her for winning me my second yacht. Wait, what? I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that concludes it for this day, I guess. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and say, oh wait, it's probably the break. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna conclude it here at the break. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye bye. Bow, 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 bow,